Hello, here is BB Walker. I hope you are doing well. Welcome back to my channel. In today's Saturday video, we will talk a little bit about the BOSS RC505 loop stations and especially we will take a look to the vocoder F effects and I will show you how to use it, uh, you know, in practice. So stay tuned. We will start in a moment. All right, so we are in our super steady mount and I need to, you know, decrease the contrast so you will be able to see everything in here. So if you are interested in general about the Boss RC505 loop stations, please take a look into the description. There is a playlist about the basics and so on. In today's video, we will be only using the vocoder effects on the input track. However, vocoder could be also applied to existing recorded track. I mean, not in a real time, but then later after recording but actually the principle with vocoder is exactly the same so the first thing that you need that you need to know about vocoder is that it requires a previously firstly uh, you know pre-recorded track as a carrier a carrier is a you know melody it's a chord progression actually that is required to modulate your another input in most of the cases this is the microphone the voice the, the the vocal and it makes this nice harmony that you can hear in modern music when people just don't need to know how to sing the the, the, the computer the, the machine actually do the work and today i will show you this so we start with complete new bank nothing is recorded as you can see and uh, i will use a some kind of tempo 100 okay let's uh, let's leave this 120 tempo i will go to rhythm edit uh, to make one measure pre-counting i will start yamaha psrs 670 you may also know it from my channel we will be using it to record uh, some uh, tra some track i will I uh, recommend use the strings for doing this. Okay, volume. Let's go back in here. Okay. So basically I need some some strings. Maybe something faster. Okay. So with this, I will create a chord progression and record it on this track here. And then we use it and this vocoder feature. So um, I will disable mics at, the, at this time because I only want to record from input. Of course, uh, my loop station is connected both to the, um, the Yamaha on the left channel and two mics actually on the mic input it's a phantom power mic uh, but if you are interested more in, in cabling and set up the hardware just give me a comment and i will explain or prepare a video okay so let's let's record something track this is our track it's an intro from BB Walker channel simple chords there are uh, C major G major a minor C major a minor and at the end we got B major and E major and this is all actually but this is not important the important thing is that you always need to make a harmony I mean the chords uh, in your courier track, not only simple sounds, they, because w without the, the, the harmony, without the at least two sounds per you know, chord, so the power chord also could be used to generate the vocoder sound, you won't be able to do anything. And now the, you know, we stop this uh, track for a moment, uh, and we will enable effects. It's in a group of effects A, and with this knob, we are going to 
vocoder and then we get some you know with this arrow some additional uh, sections first is track one i mean the carrier track so from this strings that we have recorded uh, in a moment ago we will take our you know leading voice uh, our input will be you know translated to match the harmony of this track number one so another uh, option is mode sensitivity i mean how much you know computation power how you know very um, hard it could be to make this vocoder sound uh, i recommend to leave it at the moment in a 50 percent which means you know in the middle you can experiment going more to 100 percent or to zero which will be no sensitivity at all attack means how fast the uh, vocoder will be applied to newly uh, to the sound which comes to the input and at this moment I will recommend you 100 to demonstration purposes and the balance the balance it it's not very important because we will be uh, using balance with this knob so 50 50 mix my 50 percent of original voice with the 50 of vocoder generated voice so this is all and and by using this uh, knob we will be able to control the balance Be uh, maximum to the right which means 100% vocoder zero original voice and in this position it will be uh, you know zero uh, vocoder 100 original sound so if I uh, enable the mics I need to you know be careful of one two three this is my voice without vocoder and now we start it and you will get the result So I played the track, uh, but I muted it, so you, you won't be able to hear the original track. But now I'm talking. This is Baby Walker. Baby Walker, this is my style. As you can hear, my voice is modulated using the color. Thanks for watching. So this is basically how it works. You still are able to hear my uh, original voice because I am standing and recording in a, in a mix. Everything is recorded in mix. But if you record and from the input, you won't be able to hear anything but my uh, voice modulated. So again, this is vocoder settings. I'm talking to you with melody. This is Baby Walker. Baby Walker, this is my style. If you like this channel. So I, I hope you, you get the idea with the balance. Uh, here is not showing the balance, but believe me or not, uh, using this knob, this is the zero. Zero vocoder, my original voice. And this is vocoder. Last three. Hello, this is Baby Walker. Baby Walker, this is my style. This is Baby Walker. As you can hear, the voice is going down. And this is actually everything that you have to know about the vocoder feature. Of course, uh, there are a lot of groups of any other input, uh, you know, effects. Uh, if you are uh, interested, um, just give me a comment and I will create a video. But I think most of the effects here are very simple to understand how they work. For example, transpose. So, hello, 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 hello. I'm talking now. I'm talking now, very low. This is very simple transposing. Using this knob, you can articulate your sound to be very high or just to be very high. Okay, sir? So, <laughs> as you can hear, a um, lot of fun with this uh, loop station in here, but the vocoder, 
requires some preparation to to make it work so you need to uh, pay attention uh, how to you know prepare this carrier track and I hope of course you can experiment by recording this track lower higher in our octaves uh, basically the, the the tip the my tip for the exper experimenting with this is that you should try to use um, the octaves uh, very similar to your voice scale I mean uh, if you are recording uh, this uh, strings or any uh, strings is good because they produce sounds on the constant you know volume and the constant harmonics and the constant frequencies uh, so they are good you know to be a carrier track for a vocoder uh, but it doesn't it is not required to be in here in a mixing of course it could be but if you don't like this uh, this um, this uh, strings for example you want to have something other but in the same you know uh, in the same in the same condition we could uh, we could use something other. Let's take a look in here. Maybe some. Maybe some another sounds in here. Okay. Maybe some grand piano. So if you like on another track, you could add your your track. Maybe this one. So let's record it for demonstration purposes. I think you get the idea now uh, we have recorded this piano where there are some you know more um, rhythmic parts it's not just just constant like in this and I will show you the comparison so let's go to uh, track and change to track number three and let's try how it works now with piano as a carrier so this. So as you can hear, uh, okay, it's louder because it was recorded louder. But the problem is that if you are, if you have an instrument with rhythmic sections like this one, it is not good because we have this rhythmic section in our voice, so they're you know sliced. So much better for a carrier is strings, trumpet, brass saxophone and so on. I'm personally using strings 
because you know uh, even if I don't want the strings to have strings in my mix I could you know uh, you know go and cut it down and use another track as layering however it's fun uh, and now we uh, at the end of the video uh, I will show you of course how to record this track so you will be able to hear only um, only my um, vocal that sound uh, but we need to check to carrier uh, number one and uh, record it um, without background so a very very little background because I don't want to, to record it and let's try to do this maybe this this is BB Walker this is my style Sorry, this is not good because we haven't played this carrier track, so it must be enabled to play. I, I didn't set it. It's very important, you know. So uh, let's uh, delete this track by holding stop, and and okay, let's try again. So um, so let's try again. Uh, okay, input here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Three, four. This is Baby Walker. Baby Walker, this is my style. This is Baby Walker. Don't forget to subscribe. Alright, so to summarize all the stuff that I have shown you till this this moment. So to enable the coder, of course, it is in group A. Uh, you need to find the track uh, which is uh, selected as a carrier track and select it. Track number one, this is track number one, two, three, four, and five, of course. Then if you recorded it, I recommend using strings or any other instrument that requires, you know, uh, constant doesn't give you the percussion doesn't give you the rhythm like a piano or guitar or and stuff like this so constant background padding sound it's great and it's required to have at least two sounds in a chord so it cannot be a simple melody it must be a chord progression so if you want to know more about music chords how to create them st 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 styles circle of fifth scales and so on just refer to my video to appropriate playlist okay so if you enable it you are recording it then using the knob you are you know controlling the balance between the original your sound and the sound from vocoder so i think it's all for now if you have any questions as always give me a comment and i will create a video for you or give you an, an simple text explanation so thanks for watching have a nice weekend see you later it was bb walker good luck